LeBron James became one of the few hoopers that changed the history of the NBA. With four rings, four MVPs, and as a 19-time All-Star, the King's living the life that the rest of us can only sit back and imagine. And he's one of the most accomplished players in NBA history. Oh, and he's super rich too. Cars, jewelry, lifestyle, luxury, fame, you name it. But LeBron spends money on things that might make you feel a little jealous watching this video. Here are the seven items LeBron James owns that cost more than your life. Let's start with the ridiculous one. Don't expect luxury watches, cars, or jewelry at number seven. This crazy dude owns a hyperbaric chamber. Hyperbaric chamber? Yes, you heard me right. This crazy guy owns this $100,000 machine. You may have heard that LeBron spends around $1.5 million a year on his body. Here's just one of those expenses. You may be wondering what this machine is for. Well, let me tell you. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy can increase circulation and oxygenation. This allows the oxygen to build and repair damaged blood vessels, as well as triggering collagen growth, which leads to healing. The interesting thing is that LeBron can use this machine in various therapy centers, but he chose to have it directly at home. Talk about being obsessed with the game. But here's some other things that this man is obsessed with. My man has unveiled his new favorite fashion accessory, grills. There's no question when it comes to leaders in fashion that LeBron James's name comes to mind. Because my man's grills collection is worth around $200,000. However, there is such a grill in his collection that's impossible to ignore. Look at that. This style of grills is a single tooth open face diamond halo grill with a custom King James Lion King charm welded to the open face. This head turning pendant was made from 130 grams of 14 karat gold encrusted with 35 carats of VS1 diamonds. But this is the classic info. Now get ready to be shocked. This pendant boasts a fully functional light up feature. Pull on the door knocker lodged in the lion's mouth and its eyes glow red. Jeez, this dude really knows how to show out. That's clear. LeBron has to keep it fresh off the court. In 2018, he wanted his team at the time, the Cleveland Cavaliers, to make a fashionable entrance for their Game 3 match against the Indiana Pacers. So he bought his teammates matching Tom Brown suits. And these were no ordinary suits. According to Hollywood Reporter, these were custom made to measure Super 120 twill suits with white Oxford shirts, four bar cashmere cardigans, leather brogue boots, and Mr. Tom bags. Sports Illustrated estimated that each suit cost a little less than $5,000. LeBron can go to extremes sometimes. And no one can top this man when it comes to watches. Here are LeBron's watches that cost more than your life. The King owns a $550,000 Richard Mill 1103 Jean Tot, a $300,000 Rolex Daytona Eye of the Tiger, a $170,000 Royal Oak Black Panther, and a $450,000 Patek Philippe Grand Compilation Celestial. And these are not even the entire watch collection. He has many other 10K to 20K watches, but we didn't put all of them on the list. Most likely, Bronny or something probably wears those now. However, LeBron has such a watch that we all together probably couldn't afford. You think I'm exaggerating? Attending the Super Bowl in February, James was spotted rocking the hype watch Patek Philippe Nautilus that features the Tiffany Blue double sign dial. There were only 170 units of this exclusive Patek Philippe watch produced worldwide and is only available at Tiffany & Co. Getting your hands on this model is super difficult because of its exclusiveness. You might think, how much can a watch like this go for? Let me tell you. The first of the limited edition Patek Philippe Tiffany was sold at auction for a whopping $6.5 million. 6.5 million? Man, you must be out of your mind. That's crazy. But there's even something crazier than that. 
Yep, his car collection. LeBron's car collection is worth roughly $10 million. But the most expensive machine in the car collection is his Kia. Nah, just kidding. I'm pretty sure LeBron has never driven this car once. Since he won the MVP award, sponsor Kia gifted him this car. Thank you, Kia. But let's ride something with a bit more pop. Maybe the $505,000 Rolls-Royce Phantom, $410,000 Mercedes Maybach 57S, $300,000 Ferrari 599, or the $225,000 Mercedes Maybach S650. LeBron has so many cars, it's not even possible to talk about all of them in this video. But we haven't mentioned his most expensive car yet. This dude owns a $670,000 Lamborghini Aventador Roadster. LeBron's most iconic vehicle pops so much due to its unique floral print. With green and yellow print, this Lamborghini will always stick out wherever it is. LeBron wanted to make this vehicle his, and he certainly did. With similar colors as the Nike LeBron XI Everglades sneakers, it accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in less than 3 seconds. And it has a top speed of 217 miles per hour. Jeez! So where does LeBron put all these cars? Apart from his car collection, my man also has a mansion collection. So, let's dive into LeBron James's jaw-dropping $103 million house portfolio. LeBron's used some of his fortunes to invest in real estate over the years, and he's built up a spectacular real estate portfolio for himself, wife Savannah, and their three kids. The most expensive house in this portfolio is the Beverly Hills Mansion. In 2020, the Lakers star made headlines when he picked up a sprawling 13,000 square foot Beverly Hills mansion for $36.8 million. The home once belonged to Katherine Hepburn, although LeBron bought it from its most recent owners, Bill and Lee Philip Bell, who co-created soap operas The Bold and the Beautiful and The Young and the Restless. The Mediterranean-style compound, originally built in 1930, boasts a screening room, a lighted tennis court, and a pool house with two bathrooms. Renovations over the years have given it entire walls of glass sliders for optimal indoor-outdoor flow, as well as numerous skylights and indoor fountains. Wow! King James is living the dream most of us can't imagine. Expensive watches, grills, car collection, and mansions. What else could there possibly be? Oh, my man is king on the court and in charity. LeBron gets satisfaction from helping kids. The I Promise School opened in 2008, supported by the LeBron James Family Foundation and is specifically aimed for at-risk children. The school started with 240 at-risk youth and plans to expand to over thousands of students. In addition to the extensive infrastructure meant to support the students, kids in the I Promise program will also have a chance to earn a full scholarship through the foundation to the University of Akron. If 2,300 students were to qualify for the scholarships, it would be quite a commitment by James and his foundation. Tuition and fees for in-state students at Akron are currently over $11,000. Over four years, that's $45,000. For 2,300 kids, that would be approximately 105 million in scholarships. 105 million dollars? Like I said, my man is indeed king in giving. He didn't forget the difficulties he experienced in his childhood and extended his helping hand to help future generations the best way possible. LeBron only has a few more years of basketball left at best. Most ball players go broke five years after retirement. But that's probably not going to be LeBron. LBJ also has amazing business acumen. In 2011, LeBron James bought a 2% stake in Liverpool FC from the Fenway Sports Group, which had bought the club for $480 million in 2010. That stake is now worth a whopping $100 million. Other than that, the King has nearly $100 million in assets from Blake Pizza. James can be cited as an example, not only as an idol on the field, but also as an idol in investments. Warren Buffett is one who highly appreciates LeBron's investment approach, saying this about LeBron. He's savvy. He's smart about financial matters. It's amazing to me the maturity he exhibits. Hey, hold on now. 
where are you headed? We have plenty more awesome videos for you guys to check out. So what are you waiting for?